interactivity who don't necessarily want to take that first big step to becoming and using Flash professional. So with that, you know that we've actually been shipping since June uh, Flash Catalyst. And we're going to open up a project here in Flash Catalyst. Um, and this is, something again, a tool that's designed to, to bring Flash to more people. So we've been shipping this since June. We've made some major enhancements to the next version. Uh, this beta will be, become available by the end, by the time I finish this demonstration. Uh, this code will now be available in beta 2 uh, to all of you. So what I have here is I have two pages that we've created. You can see we have uh, uh, page 1 and page 2. It shows we have a good graphic that we're going to introduce. And real quickly, we've actually uh, pre-baked how we're going to enter uh, this graphic on the screen coming from the bottom. But you know, it's, it's a pretty fast image. It comes up pretty quickly. I'd like to add a little bit more flair to that. So what I'm going to do first is come in and on the timeline, I'm going to extend this out. Instead of being about a half a second, I want it to take about two seconds in length. And then in addition, on the duration, let's up the duration to about three seconds or so. Now we'll get a little more dramatic effect where it slows down, comes on the screen, it bounces. Oops, let's add a bounce effect since I forgot to do that. And let's try that now. We'll come on, we'll bring that on the stage, and we'll get a nice bounce effect. We've got built in right into Flash Catalyst. Another thing we can do new in Flash Catalyst is we can actually go to our library and actually inject video. So we're going to enter video by just simply dragging and dropping it onto the page. And you'll notice that as I do so, I actually have a uh, skin here that I don't want to do because as a designer, I'd like to build my own interface to this. So we're going to come in real quickly and take off that skin. And then we're going to take off this to make it more of a format, more of an HD format. So we'll take it out of proportion just slightly. And now what I want to do is I want to put a button, a play button on there. And we'll just do a very simplistic. I can take this now from Illustrator or Photoshop or another application. But I'm going to just go create a very simplistic play arrow. And we'll take our obligatory triangle here, rotate it, and then let's place it where we want to. Let's give it a color so we can see it more easily. We'll make it nice bright pink. We'll add the obligatory bevel so you can see it. And now we have created a button. However, it's not a button yet. It's just a raw image right now. So what we want to do is take this piece of art now and create it into a button. So right within Catalyst, I want to convert that to a button. And as soon as I do so, you'll notice that we change over here and it says, great, this is a button. What would you like to associate with it? So I want to come in, I'm going to add an interaction. And on click, I would like it to play video. And then it'll say, which video would you like to play? I will pick the only one I have on the machine, which is very convenient for me. And we click that, and now we're set. Now let's forward to page two. And now what we want to do is we want to show the integration where we actually ingest things coming from other applications. So we're going to actually ingest a Swift file here that we've been working on with Shantanu in his nice tight outfit. And so we're going to take the Super Shantanu Swift and simply take that, put it on the stage. Let's resize him just slightly so we can see him in full. And now what I would do is I would do the same thing. I would come over to the takeoff button over here, and I would say I want to uh, link that to this Swift action. But what I want to do right now, we're going to pre-bake that, and what we're going to do just to speed ahead, we're going to actually now tie it to what action would you like to apply to that Swift. I'm going to come in and take control of that. Whoops, I highlight it first. I'll come in now and take control of that. And as you know in Flash, you can go to frame and play. So rather than taking the entire Swift file, I can actually go to a specific frame now, call that out, and let's fast forward to uh, let's say around frame 40 or so, and now let's build this out. So again, what's going to do is going to take the first pages we had, the video and the button we created, in addition to the uh, Swift file, build it out. It's going to put it into a standard page, uh, into a, a web page. It's going to bring up a browser, and we'll actually get to preview that here. So you can see now, if I play my play button, there's my video playing. I'll then go to page two. And I will hit the, there's our nice graphic with the bounce effect we added. I'll hit takeoff and shot it launches. <laughs> and when I hit the takeoff button, that meant that the beta 2 is now available. Please don't download it.